What's up? Hey, what's going on? What's up? What's in here? What's in this thing? I don't know. What's in there? It's the one thing that you need to protect so you can ensure your success coming up on the new year or whatever you got going on. If you want to know what's in here, if you want to know what's in here, comment in number one because we're going to talk about the one thing that you need to start protecting if you want to ensure your success. What's going on? My name is Ryan McMorris. What is going on, family? What's up? What's up? Glad to be back. It's Monday. I love Mondays because it's like it's like coming back on the weekend. You know, we had a we had a good time in Atlanta. Had an awesome time uh, hanging out with some uh, with some friends and family. Got to saw a really good football game. Got to see a really good football game. Grammar Nazi and uh, and cool stuff. So hey, what's up? What's up? Say what's up. I see a lot of a lot of familiar faces. A lot of familiar faces. What's going on? We're having a good time. Uh, if you don't know me, my name is Ryan McMorris. Uh, me and my lovely fiance, we run a company called Intentional Lifestyle, where we specialize in showing home business owners how to truly create a life of financial and time freedom by bringing balance and and true passion into their business using the internet. Okay, so that's what we do. Feel free to check us out. ILC University. Dot com is our website. Uh, feel free to check us out. And if you're not a member of our free Facebook community and you want to really learn how to take your home business to the next level, uh, then that's something that you definitely got to uh, get in. Let us know if you want into our new Facebook community. Let us know. All right. Um, first things first, let me get some shout outs on here. Let's do some shout outs before I tell you what this little secret is, right? Uh, Tanya, what's up? ILC family, what's up? What's up? I see Andrew on here. What's up, Andrew? Carolyn, what's up? Emilio, Monica, all the ILC family. Michelle, what's up? I see ya. I see ya. What's up? Tanya, turned into the, mar the, the marketing beast. Thibodeau is on here. Woof, man. You see some hot, hot people. So, uh, Monday, Monday, what we love to do on Monday, I do have to be quiet because we have kids sleeping and I don't want to get too excited. Um, again, if you do share, let me know if you shared by saying that you shared. Okay. If you're watching live, let me know that you're watching live. And if you're watching the replay, um, let me know by putting hashtag replay. And if you're new, let me know by putting hashtag new and I'll reach out and I'll give you a free gift. All right. On the house. All right. Free high five. Just kidding. Um, but they are free. And, 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 and if you are getting value, okay, if you're getting value and you're kind of digging this message again, this is, this is Monday. So I'm going to stick to motivational stuff. Okay. Motivation Monday. All right. You can call me motivation Mac if you want to, because we're going to keep it real. So again, if you want to share this motivational message out to anybody that's out there, again, feel free to press the share button. Uh, won't hate on you. Okay. So motivational Monday and we're going to get into it. All right. Let me know if you're digging it with emojis. Okay, so if you can roll with emojis, let me know. It lets me know that you're digging it so I can dig you. A capiche? Papa number two, if you know the rules and you are ready to play this game with me tonight, Papa number two in the comment section and let's get it. So what's in here? What's in here? Okay, that is keeping the one thing that you've got to protect. The one thing, it is a seed. The seed, when, when anything that's in seed form is, is the most susceptible, susceptible to be destroyed. You know that, right? Okay. But guess what? Many of us are planting seeds every single day, but we're not protecting them. We're not protecting them. We're not actually giving that seed the protection that it needs to actually grow into that large oak tree, right? A lot of us, we want to be able to like, you know, plant a forest, right? But we have to understand that sometimes when you go out and to plant a forest, some things are going to die. Some trees are going to die. Some trees are going to be seasonal. Some will be evergreens. And hopefully you plant enough seeds that many of them turn into evergreens. But I want you to understand, there's a story that I want to tell in this. I can't remember what book that I got this from, but I love this story. And um, there was a kid, he was like 14 years old, and there was this old dude, and he was like, hey, um, I want you to do something for me. He goes, yeah, anything, anything you want me to do. I just want you to teach me what you know. And the kid was like, just, you know, just following this guy around like a little puppy, right? So he's following this dude around like a little puppy. And he's like, okay, just tell me what you want me to do. And he says, look, look at that seed right there. Look at that seed. I want you to pick it up and I just want you to crush it. 
Okay, I just want you to pick that seed up and I want you to crush it. And the kid picks the seed up, he crushes it, it turns into little ashes, and then they go about their day, they continue walking. And then maybe a mile down the road, he says, you see that little, uh, that little twig right there? I want you to just pull it out of the ground. I want you to just pull that twig out of the ground. And the kid, like zero effort, just pulls this tree out of the ground, right? And then... And then he, they come up on like kind of a little bigger tree, but you know, it's still, you know, it's nothing that he can't grab. So, you know, he puts a little more effort into it and he pulls this little tree out of the ground and then he pulls another tree out of the ground. And finally they get to this big oak tree and he can't even get his hands around it and he can't get it out. And he says, since like he says, master, like, I can't get this thing out, dude. Like I can't get it out, mentor. What am I supposed to do? And he was like, that is how habits are formed. Once they get into the root, once they get into the root of the ground and once they grow so big, you can't change your habits. But a lot of us, we're planting this seed of a new habit that we need to grow into this oak tree in order for us to truly change our life, in order for something to truly uh, change the fruit of what our life looks like. We keep planting these seeds, but we don't protect them. We don't protect them from the birds that come through. We don't protect them from the enemies that come through. And I want you to understand, once you set out to do something big, that's when everything starts to come. That's when all the enemies and all the prey have to show up. You know, many of us, we, you know, if, if you, especially if you've gone through any of our challenges, you know, most of our challenges are our mindset based you know we do a lot of marketing stuff but a lot of our stuff is like mindset based you know in order to, to you we want you to leave our community we want you to leave what we got going on and and think a different way you feel me on that you feel me you know many of you if you've gone through one of our challenges and you left feeling or thinking a different way pop a number three in the comment section okay because there's some new people on here that need to say hmm, do i need to start thinking in a different way i want to start feeling in a different way i want that Show me some of that. All right, again, I can't get too crunk. We got kids that are asleep, okay? And, um, and apparently my voice echoes throughout the entire house, okay? But at the end of the day, if you have big goals in 2018, if you've got big goals coming up in your life, if any time in your life you have something big that you want to accomplish, understand that as soon as you put out there that you're doing something big, that gets the attention of all the predators out there that want to eat your seed that want to destroy what you have going on. You have now gotten the attention of anything bad, the enemy, the thing that is there to keep you from doing the thing that you want to do. Uh oh. Let me see if I lost you real quick. Let me see if I lost you. The thing that is there to keep you from doing the thing that you want to do, that you have basically said, you know what, this is my destiny. This is what this is what I'm here for. This is what I was put on this planet for. And then all of a sudden, when that obstacle comes up, we're all of a sudden a little scared. We want to we wanna dodge the obstacle. Understand that the obstacle and the enemy that, that is there to destroy the seed that you're planting is there for you. It's there to, to, to push you through. You know, some of the greatest lives are the lives that you hear about kids that weren't supposed to live. You know what I mean? The ones that, man, miracle babies that just, that, that made it, that weren't supposed to be alive. And I mean, that's, that's the story, right? What about you and your business and, and, and your team? What about what the team that wasn't supposed to be there? The business that was never supposed to be created. You've got to start digging deeper and saying, you know what? I'm going to protect this seed. It starts with a thought. So if you have a thought, again, you know, we, let's dig a little deep. Is it cool if I go deep? Let me know. Pop a number four in the comment section if it's cool if I go deep. Because, again, this is Motivational Monday. So I'm going to bring you. Again, if it's okay for me to preach on a Monday, I go to church on Sunday so I can preach on Monday. All right? Is that cool with you? Pop a number four. But I want you to understand that you've got something that that has to be challenged. You've got something in your hands that you have to get challenged. Okay? You've got you've got an idea in your mind. Again, everything starts with an idea, right? Everyone knows you, if you're on here and you followed us for any length of time, we know that everything, everything ever started with an idea. The chair that you're that you're sitting in right now, the phone that you're watching this on right now, the headphones that you're listening to this on right now, the car that you may be driving started with an idea. So you may be saying, Ryan, how do I protect my ideas? Here's, here, I'm going to show you how you protect your ideas. One, you protect your ideas by getting around people that will support and pour water and help you protect your ideas. 
Okay, because you nothing nothing will come to fruition unless you get that idea planted, unless you save that idea. There's so many ideas, you know, uh, people that I, I know I get my best ideas away from my business. I get my best ideas away from my business. A lot of you out there probably are struggling with, man, I can't, I can't take the pedal off my business. If I take the pedal off my business, what am I going to do? Well, a lot of you need to take the damn pedal off your business so you can actually figure out where the hell you're going. Okay? Take the pedal off your business. Stop driving 100 miles an hour, not, do, not going anywhere, and figure out where the hell you're going. And if you don't know how to figure out where the hell you're going, link up with us. We'll put you in the right place, and we'll get you on the right track. We'll find you a direction, okay? All you got to do is shoot me a personal message and that says, Ryan, I need direction, and we will point you in the right direction. We promise. You know, there's a lot of people on here that have uh, been pointing in the right direction. But I want you to understand, you've got to start protecting your thoughts first. That is the seed, okay? A lot of you have amazing ideas. A lot of us have, um, have awesome ideas. But the only awesome ideas that mean anything are the ideas that people actually took action on. The ideas that people said, you know what, I need to protect this idea. Not hoard it. There's a difference between hoarding an idea and protecting an idea. Hoarding an idea is like you're just trying to keep it from everybody. It's, it's, it's this like stingy kind of thing. There's, there's no abundance there. You know, I have ideas that I'm here to protect because I put, I write down everything on a sheet of paper. I got my notes always ready on my phone. You know, pull out your voice messages, write down ideas, say things out loud. You know, because again, you're always going to be having ideas. And once that idea train gets going, you got to start getting them out and putting them on paper and putting them into action and reviewing things. But a lot of us, we got ideas that we're just too afraid to take action on. So again, I want you to start committing to the fact that not only will you protect your ideas, but you'll get around people that can help you uh, water your ideas and put the right soil around your ideas so you can actually turn those amazing ideas into fruition. Because I, I want you to thrive. I want you to thrive over the next, over the next 12 months. Okay? My voice is, is, uh, is choppy. I don't know. My, my voice is all over the place. Am I feeling me on this? You know, I decided I decided to keep Monday very motivational. Not a marketing Monday, not a money Monday. Okay, motivational Monday because I want you to have an amazing week. I want you to go out there and crush this week. I want you to understand that you were put on this planet to do something specific. You were put on this planet to not become a new person, but to be the best person that you were just put here to be. Okay. You were put here, not, not, you know, God put you on this planet for a specific reason. He said, you know what? He, he planted that seed in your mind. He planted that thought in your mind that this is your destination. Whatever your destination is, whether it's to be a top earner in your network marketing company so you can go out and, and save kids in, 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 um, in third world countries or, or you know, go start a, um, a fund for, I don't, know, I don't know what your purpose is. You should know what your purpose is. And again, if you don't know what your purpose or your passion is, hit us up. Say, Ryan, I need to find my purpose. Whatever it is, you fill in the blank. You hit me up. Shoot me a personal message and we'll help you out. Okay? But again, whatever that purpose is, understand, God promised you that God promised you that you were going to get there. Okay? He didn't promise anything on how you were going to get there. So a lot of us are focused on the how. Right? A lot of us are so focused on, well, how am I going to do this? How am I going to make this money? How am I going to hit this rank? How am I going to get this car? How am I going to get this house? If you stop focusing on the how, you know, it's kind of like when Jesus was in the boat with his disciples. They were going to cross the lake. All he said was, I'm going to get you across the lake. He didn't say that I was going to uh, get you across the lake and there's not going to be a storm. There's not going to be waves. There's not going to be water on the boat. So a lot of us are getting pissed off and figuring, well, why the hell is there water on the boat? Well, why is the wind blowing so hard? Well, why are the waves crashing against my boat? It's not up to you the how. Once you've figured out that this is my destination, it doesn't matter how you get there. You just get there and you trust and believe that it's your destiny to get there. Feel me? You feel me? And, and you've got to have that unwavering faith or your prospects are not going to fill you. You've got to have that unwavering faith that when you make a call tomorrow, that it doesn't matter because you know your destination. If someone punches you in the mouth on a phone call and hits you with something hard, guess what? You just got hit with a wave. It's okay. It's part of being on the boat. So you got a little wet. It's part of being on the boat. So some water got on the boat. Guess what? It's part of being on the boat. 
So what I want you to do is I just want you to take whatever you got from this message today. Again, if you want to share this message, feel free to share this message, very generic message. Again, let me know that you shared, um, if you did share, because I want to give you a shout out and let you know I appreciate it and let you know I love you for all the emojis and all the comments and all that good stuff. Because again, um, I want to keep this strictly motivational for Motivational Monday, okay? Strictly motivational. Strictly motivational for the for the ladies, for the ladies, for the for the most for, for the motivational ladies and uh and Emilio, um, but again, many each and every one of you has amazing ideas that are that are flowing through your veins, flowing through your through your through your through your blood vessels, through your through your mind, and um, you know all you got to do is take action on them. But you got to protect them. You got to protect them until you can get around some people that 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 will water that will that will say hey come over here come over here you can plant that over here you know you've always heard that you know your your income is based on the 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 other nine people that you hang around the most right so again if you've got a seed that needs to be planted and and you're in a bad environment it's your duty to get that seed and protect it until you can get around some people that will help you protect it, that will help you water it, that will help that idea grow until it becomes that oak tree that can't be stopped. And sometimes it means getting around the right coaches. It means getting around the right mentors. It means, it means you know, getting around the right masterminds and the right groups and the right churches and the right things in your community. You know, before I, get, before I let go, because I've, I've only got, um, I'm already over time. I'm already over time. So before I go, I mean, again, if you really want to make an impact, you know, especially for all my online business owners out there, if you really want to make an impact, how about take take what you're doing offline? You know what I mean? What are you doing offline in your community to really make an impact? You know, I look at people where we live and the people that are really making an impact. And I'm like, man, we got to We got to do more inside of this community and you know we're so busy with what we got going online so it's like okay we got you know we got our kids and we got this and this and this so how can we even hone our our time in more how can we hone our our um our our system in more how can we um how can we hone in our process more so we can have even more time to give back to the community so cassandra said uh what are you doing to make an impact in your community you know, so again, you know, it's, it's, you know, impacting with the Boys and Girls Club, giving back to, to charities. Um, I know, I know Wes was doing a, a toy drive this year and, and doing stuff for the homeless, picking up, um, uh, what do you call it, the, the scarves, gloves, you know, um, handing out hand warmers to people. Again, what, I mean, these are just little things that, that somebody may not even remember, you know, when, when the seasons turn again. But again, I mean, if we can start as network marketers, because I know, you know, most 99% of you guys on here are network marketers. So again, if we can start making impacts, mentoring kids, I know, like starting, you know, speaking at high schools, you know, letting people know that, you know what, network marketing isn't the only way. But again, let some kids know that if you have a dream to be an entrepreneur and start a damn bakery, start that, start that bakery. Sorry, I'm trying to keep it as motivational. Monday, I don't want to be all cussing on here. But again, You know, go speak at your high school. Go speak at your elementary school. Go speak to the local football team or baseball team. Who cares if they say no? You know, who cares? Who cares? Just just go impact your community in some way. You know, because that's that's the mark. You know, that's that's where people start thinking, man, I love network marketers. Network marketers are the first ones to give. Network marketers are the first ones to to show up. Network marketers are the first ones to to line up and just, just make an impact. I mean, man. And then people start looking at the looking at the uh, the industry different as a whole. All right, I'm done. Okay, I'm out of here. Again, hey, if there's a way that we can help you in your business, uh, feel free to uh, hit us up. Just shoot me a personal message. Say, hey, Ryan, I need direction. Uh, if you uh, want access to our new free Facebook community, all you got to do is um, shoot me a personal message. Say, hey, Ryan, uh, I want access to the new Facebook group, and we'll get you in. All right, feel free to check out our newest blog post at ilcuniversity.com. Uh, where we talk about five ways to keep your prospects from going into witness protection. And we'll show you some really cool ways to keep your prospects close and close more leads and sales into your business. All right, so I'm out of here. All right, again, if there's something that we can help you with, shoot me a personal message. Um, Don't be afraid to reach out. And uh, again, we'll see you tomorrow after our flight. We're headed to sunny San Diego, all right?
Y'all have a wonderful night. Love each and every one of you guys, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.